Hey everybody, it's Maria Willis from Cardbomb.com and today we're going to be working with the new Hero Arts My Monthly Hero March 2021 release. I'll be doing some Copic coloring and a mixed media background today. This month's kit is book themed and has the perfect stamp sets to make a really fun and quirky card. I chose this girl sitting in a chair reading a book as the focal point for my card and I decided to show you just how to color her, the chair. So I'm going in with BG05 and I'll use BG07, BG09, and C5 for this. I like to start my Copic coloring with my lightest color and I color the entire image in with that lightest color. I do this because I like to get the image saturated so that the next colors will blend easily. Then I move to my darkest color, which in this circumstance is a BG09, and then I go in with my middle color, the BG07, and blend those colors together. The final step will be to go back in with your lightest color and make sure that everything is blended smoothly. If you need to add more shadows, just grab your cool gray, I grabbed a C5, and add more shadows. Now I'm not going to show you how to color the rest of the image, but if you watch till the end of the video, I do have a graphic that shows all of the colors that I used to color this image, so if you want to, watch till the end of the video and you can screenshot that. Now I'm grabbing my white Sakura Jelly Roll pen in a size 05, and this fine tip is really going to be helpful because now I'm going in trying to create a look of fabric, and I'm just going back and forth in the direction that I believe the fabric would run and adding a little bit of texture to that chair. Now let me give you a close-up look at that so you can see how easy it was to get that added texture and a really cool look on that chair. Now is when I decided that I needed a little bit more depth on this and so I grabbed that C5 marker and I just added some more shadows and I went back in with my BGs to blend it all out. I grabbed this sky stencil pair from Hero Arts thinking that I was going to make sort of a cosmos night sky type of background and I paired it up with some Dina Wakely gloss sprays and I used that yellow and then some pink and some blue to create my background. I wanted to splatter some green but instead I spilled it everywhere. I decided to just roll with it and I used a paper towel to add some of that green to both of my backgrounds. Now I've got my Hero Arts Reactive Ink in Blue Hawaii and I'm ink blending all over that background to fill in any areas that I didn't hit with that gloss spray. The gloss spray is going to resist the ink so now I've got a paper towel and I'm just wiping the excess off of the background. I'm pulling out that stencil pair again and I'm making some clouds with some acrylic paint. But you know what? I did not end up liking it and I just rubbed it into the background. Then I grabbed a credit card and I picked up the leftover paint and I just smeared it all over the place, all willy-nilly. I think the key to this is to not think at all about it. Just do it. Don't hesitate. Just do it. Um, and so before I move on, I needed to heat set that so I could stamp. Now I am stamping in permanent ink using the Novel Pros Bold Print stamp. It's one of my favorite stamps from this release and you also saw it on my yellow background earlier. After adding some interest to my background with that stamp set, I grabbed the Library Card Stamp and Cut XL. It's got so many cool stamps in this set and I'm going to use that big one to add more texture to the background. So I'm grabbing that one and I'm stamping it in some Versamark ink. I'm not even bothering using an anti-static tool because this is mixed media and I don't care, but I am using sand embossing powder, which is my favorite embossing powder from Hero Arts. It has different colors of metallic grains in it, and then the grains are also different sizes, which gives really awesome texture on your projects. Now I am grabbing the overdue stamp from that same stamp set, and I'm going to stamp it a couple of different times on my background, and again that background was done with the Novel Pros Bold Print stamp set. I'm going to just set that aside and move on to heat embossing my sentiment from the Literary Quote stamp set, and I've selected You're Entirely Bonkers, But I'll Tell You a Secret, All of the Best People Are. That's by Lewis Carroll from Alice in Wonderland, and I heat embossed it in white on pitch black cardstock, which is back in stock if you've been missing it as much as I have. I cut that down with my trimmer, and now I'm grabbing one of those overdue stamped images and I'm just going to darken the edges up by rubbing my Hero Arts Intense Black ink around the edges and now I'm grabbing this other cool set. It's called Bookworm Messages and I'm just going to stamp one of these little worms and color it in with Copic colors and again the Copic colors are going to be on a graphic at the end of my video. Now I've grabbed some permanent blue ink and I'm ink blending around the edges of my background just to darken it up and that's going to make the center of my background appear as if it's got a highlight, as if it's glowing. And I'm grabbing again that 
bookworm messages stamp set and I've taken four or five of those sentiments and I'm just stamping them randomly around the background to add a little bit more fun. Now I've got some black acrylic paint and I'm using my pokey tool to splatter it across my background and I did feel like I needed a little more contrast so I just smeared a little bit of black paint on there and now I'm squirting some glue down and mixing it with a paintbrush that apparently I didn't clean. I'm splattering some of that glue across the background and I used this glue because I needed it to be tacky when it dried so that my silver gilding flakes would stick to the glue. I just grabbed a pinch of the gilding flakes, a little goes a long way, and rubbed them into the glue. I did see a couple spots where I wanted to add more gilding flakes up there at the top, so I grabbed a glue pen and I added a little bit more glue up there. Unfortunately, I didn't dry it well enough, and so when I rubbed my gilding flakes in, it just smeared the glue and made the gilding flakes stick to a large area, which I actually ended up thinking looked pretty cool. Now that my background is done, I'm going to grab the literally the best stamp set and it's got a stamp that says the end and I'm going to stamp that on the inside of a top folding A2 sized card base and I'm going to stamp that at the bottom right corner just because I think it's kind of funny and goes along with this quirky card that we're doing. Now I'm ready to add my background to my card front and I'm doing that with foam adhesive. This background had a little bit of warping and by using this foam adhesive it's going to stick down really well and it's going to help take care of that warping. You're not going to see it at all. And fortunately I had a little bit of user error and I adhered this too low on my card base so I took care of that by running an ink cube along the top to smooth the transition between card base and card face. Now that it's all put together, here's another look at that background, and I have to say that one of the reasons why I love doing mixed media projects is because the joy is in the process. I love not thinking about how it's going to turn out, but just having fun with every layer that I add. Now it's time to finish this card up and add all of the different elements that we've already created. So I've put um, the sentiment, the girl, and the overdue and with the little worm down with foam tape. I really felt like it needed something up at the top left, so I used that yellow background and stamped library card on it. I'm going to cut that sentiment in half, and again, I'm going to use my Hero Arts Intensified Black ink to ink around the edges. It does get messy, it doesn't bother me, um, but I do end up, after I adhere it, I go back in with the Sharpie just to sharpen up that sentiment a little bit more so that it is more legible. And after I use that Sharpie, I go in with the Stabilo Black Pencil to add some shadows underneath all of my sentiment pieces. And I've got a black glaze pen to add a little shine to my bookworm's eyes. Now here is a look at my finished card. I hope I may have inspired you to try some mixed media projects of your own. If you like this video today, I hope you might consider subscribing to my channel. Now hang tight because I've got that graphic that I promised you with all of the Copic colors that I've used today. If you're interested in any of the products that I used today, I do have them all linked in the description box below. And I hope you all have the most amazing day. Bye for now.